Last time we discussed how to use animation blueprints to live animate a character using only the iPhone. Essentially, we learned how to do this. However, we didn't really cover how to get the setup working for streaming and recording. This tutorial will show you how to set up a basic VTube studio that you can use with that character as well as, as promised, how to build this blue screen transition. Why blue screen? I chose this blue screen method because I have a plant here. Green screen, blue screen, and chroma key techniques work by removing color. And a green screen would probably end up affecting my lovely little plants here on top of my computer. This is a simple way of getting your scene ready to record. Cinema cameras are the fastest way to get good results in Unreal, and they separate a lot of the looks you'll see in Unreal from other VTubers and virtual avatar users who build their stuff in Unity. It's easier to, than, to use than Cinemachine, and in my opinion, it's a really big reason that you should be considering Unreal. However, just having a cinema camera doesn't mean that our scene will begin with that point of view. We'll have to make a blueprint to ensure that. Like in this situation where I press play, you can see that we don't have the view that we just created in our cinema camera. We're in the back of the scene. This is because we've spawned in as the standard pawn. If we want to use the cinema camera, we have to hook it up. First, we'll create a new character controller. I should point out that you specifically must use this type of blueprint class in order to set this up. This is a blueprint class that has access to the set view target node, and we need this to change our point of view. I named my controller Camera Controller because I'm a creative genius with infinite wit to dedicate to my naming schemes. Uh, once you have this blueprint, just copy these nodes and set your cinema camera in your Get Actor of class. Hold up! Remember, this is not our default character controller. Let's go to World Settings. You're going to have to plug this into the World Settings. By default, the option to change this is grayed out, so we'll have to make a new game mode and set that up before we can change our controller. The game mode doesn't need to have any specific blueprints. It just needs to be made. Once you've switched this out in the top menu bar, then suddenly all of these other ones become ungray. Ungray, is that the way to say that? Okay. Before we get into anything crazy, let's add a backdrop and give it a really basic material. I used a curved plane I made in Blender, but you can just go ahead and use a regular plane. Green screens are really easy to make in Unreal. All you need is a plane with a material. Go ahead and make a new material and set the shading model to unlit in the details panel. Now add a three vector color parameter and select your green or blue background color. Let's talk about lighting our scene. This could be a whole video. This could be five videos. For my scene, I added an emissive material the same way I made the green screen and added it to the plane above my head for a nice soft, soft boxy look. Nice soft, soft boxy look. It's a soft look, it's a soft boxy look. Be sure to use material instances to save time on future material nodes. Since we've already set our camera as the view target, we're free to animate it however we want. We don't even need a camera cut track. This is really simple. All I had to do was change the focus method in my cinema camera to be set specifically on my character. And that took care of any focus problems. Next, all I really had to do was just change my location data in sequencer. So I would just make new keyframes for each end of the camera transition. And then I did the same thing for the blue screen that I had hovering above my head. I spent most of my time trying to make the timing look right. If you make the blue screen drop too early, you're gonna look like you're shrinking into the bottom of the screen. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. I wasn't over fond of it. While every level sequence has options and its properties for firing the sequence at the start, if you click on it and look at it in the details panel, we wanna be able to trigger our transition at specific moments using the keyboard. Sort of in the same way we hooked up our cinema camera with a character controller blueprint, we can trigger this animation at will using a blueprint chain in the level blueprint. You'll find it up here. Add your level sequence by dragging it in from the outliner straight into the blueprint page to be able to reference it, and add the following nodes. Remember that you could repeat this process and add as many custom animations to set as you want. It's a really great way to add functionality and special effects without using blueprint to drive everything. You can use OBS to key out your background. There are hundreds of good tutorials on this on YouTube. I found that I used the basic settings and then played around with just a few of the basic sliders to find my result. Though your results will change based on the amount of spill light that you have going on in the scene as well as anti-aliasing settings as well as just any reflections that you get on your objects. This is what it looks like when you put it all together. See? I think I've showed this a few times already. We can just, we can get back to the tutorial now. You get it, you get it. See, you get it. 
as always, here's my blueprints. If you copy them and customize all the values and objects that are needed, you'll be just fine. I know this small setup has had a deceptive amount of steps, but going through this process a couple of times will help you become a stronger Unreal user. If you get stuck, post a comment and then I'll reach out. As always, you can get access to my step-by-step -step process for building this set. If you'd like to follow along with me in real time, I have long form work streams that cover the concepts of these videos in a little bit more detail, with some further and better explanations at a slower pace. The stream is available on my Gumroad page and buying it once unlocks all the long form behind the scenes for this entire series. These aren't necessarily full on tutorials, but if you think they might be helpful, check out the link in the description. They're also a nice way to thank me for the work I'm doing and help keep these going. because I'm a creative genius with infinite with <laughs> the joke. I can't even pronounce the joke. <laughs>